Our charge as a recruiting team is to power Zapier's growth by inspiring brilliant people from all backgrounds to join and thrive at Zapier. Through the hiring process, we don't just want to get you in the door, we actually want to set you up for success when you get here. So we aim to be transparent, we aim to really show you our values. So not only do you have a sense of who we are as a company when you get here, but you also know a bit more about Zapier, its people, and its culture. We hope that this experience is really inspiring, not just because we want you to say yes, but because we want you to be here for many years to come. We try to use application questions so that you have an opportunity to really show the knowledge and skills that you bring. While those questions may not feel as traditional and as easy, they give a more, much more equitable opportunity for people to demonstrate that they've actually done the things they would need to do in that role. A second thing that makes our process unique is that we don't actually require resumes. And resumes are such a classic part of the job application process, but we also recognize that sometimes preparing your resume is literally a barrier that prevents someone from going for a role. And we don't want that to be like the thing that gives you anxiety and prevents you from being able to apply quickly. Our interview process has a couple key components that everyone will experience. You'll have typically a call with a recruiter, a call with the hiring manager, you'll meet some stakeholders, and you'll do some type of skills assessment. Now, depending on the role, there might be another one to three additional components that people will have to go through, and that might be meeting with peers, meeting with team leaders, or even executives. Your recruiter will walk you through exactly what to expect for your particular interview process. A couple of things I recommend that people ask their recruiter during their recruiter screen would include, um, of course, discussing just the, the culture of the team, the dynamic of the team, things like their work hours, talking about compensation, talking about benefits, making sure that you really understand where we're likely to bring someone in and what that total package is gonna look like because you wanna make sure that you're moving forward in a process where that role is gonna make sense for you. After the recruiter interview, you can expect to meet with the hiring manager for the role. The hiring manager interview will vary depending on the role, of course, but you can always expect to talk through the mission and values at Zapier and understanding how your own experience aligns with uh, what we're looking for for in the opportunity, but also a great chance for you to ask the hiring manager questions to better understand the need and how you can make an impact. We want to ensure we're assessing the right skills needed. So that could be coding assessments, systems design set assessments. It could be criteria in terms of ideation for design. Ultimately, they're going to be based on core criteria needed for that role. Technical assessments are important because they give us insight into the strengths and capabilities that someone has in the technical field that we're hiring them into. This is important because we want folks to be successful and it allows us to properly bring them in to the organization in a way that sets them up for success. We do think it's important to make sure that the interview process feels as personal as possible. When you're interviewing, it's it is about you. It's, it's making sure that you can share your best self. So we want to make sure that we're giving that back to you in kind. So we'll offer to jump on actual video calls with you or phone calls with you to help guide you through the process. We also want to make sure that we're figuring out what it is you're searching for in your next job and the types of problems or challenges that you want to dive into and make sure that that's the role that you would have at Zapier. Even if things are taking a little bit longer than we think they will, we will check in with folks and let them know that there might be a delay, or we try to preemptively schedule things so that we can keep interviews moving at a really good pace for folks. And we're going to share every step of the process along the way. One of our core values at Zapier is grow through feedback. And so we really value feedback across the business, and that includes in the recruiting process. We know you put a lot of time and energy into going through our recruiting process, so we wanna make sure that you get to learn something from the process as well. So we offer feedback after any interview. We offer you the option to opt into live feedback so you can talk through the feedback with the recruiter. If you move to the offer stage at Zapier, there's two additional steps that you can expect. You have a reference check and a background check. The reference check is an opportunity for us to hear from your previous coworkers and better understand how you best work and how you thrive in your environment. Your offer is contingent upon a successful completion of the background check. A candidate will hear about their salary throughout the whole process, so from being able to see it on the initial job description to being, being able to speak about potential pay outcomes throughout the whole process, even to the offer, um, our hope is that nothing is ever a surprise and that you are fully aware of what you can expect your pay to look like throughout every step in our process. 
In the offer stage, candidates will get an offer document in addition to the offer letter. In the offer document, we'll share everything about your total rewards package from compensation to benefits to equity and how everything rounds up into your total rewards package so you'll be able to understand every single thing that you're getting. Even if you don't ultimately end up getting an offer with us the first time you apply, we hope to stay in touch and we hope that you'll reapply when you see a role that might be a good fit. So we started our talent communities at Zapier because we know that there are brilliant people all over the world that would be awesome here at Zapier, but we might not just have the right roles at the right time. And so we invite you to sign up and join our talent communities. This allows you to stay in contact with us and us with you. We'll send you updates about the company, really amazing ways that you can learn about Zapier and our product, and also opportunities to interact with our team through things like resume workshops or negotiation workshops. The talent communities allows you to be in contact with us so that when a role does open, you'll be the first one to know. Talent communities are a huge part in our Dibby efforts at Zapier. Uh, for instance, we are building talent communities with talent from all over. And we're really fostering a connection and building a community by having events with these folks and then importing them into our talent communities and staying connected with them uh, in the future. As an organization that truly loves their people and takes care of their people. I feel like we are that first step to bringing the right people to the jobs and seeing them then thrive and grow and stay on in the roles and then meeting them at company retreats and just knowing that you were part of bringing this person to this company is just such a great feeling.